friends this is Ashirwad here in this video we will continue with tokens we have discussed identifiers in uh, quite a lot of detail here we will cover up the next token keywords literals and punctuators so let us first discuss keywords I hope by now you already uh, know the meaning of the word keyword but uh, still let's discuss it reserved words of java are keywords okay so very very simple and straightforward uh, term you cannot use keywords as the name of your variables or as a name of your identifier so that is what you have to keep in mind all the time so we have many keywords in java int float if for and many the thing with keyword is you don't have to uh, learn them okay uh, they will be clear to you as you go along with uh, making programs slowly gradually the only thing you need to remember about keywords is that you cannot use them with uh, as any variable name the another thing with keyword is they must be written in small letters okay just remember that if you write any keyword uh, in capital letters it will simply not be processed okay so that's it for keywords the next token is literals so what are literals well the simplest meaning of literals is this values okay for example if i write int i int a let it be is equal to 100 and semicolon so this is a java statement in which we are declaring a as integer type okay so what is a a is a variable this is its data type and this is its value okay now the value 100 is called as literal okay similarly if you declare a double type of variable you remember we discussed double data type it stores fractional numbers okay so 100.25 semicolon so in this example what is a literal 100.25 is a literal similarly if you declare a char type of variable and store a single character in it for example i store x semicolon so what is literal here x is a literal and lastly we introduced string uh, data type in our previous uh, video so if you declare a string type of variable s and you store some string like uh, hello semicolon so what is a literal here hello is a literal so this is uh, the meaning of uh, the token literals okay it's nothing but values that you are going to store in the variables or in the identifiers now according to the type of value they are given different names like here you are storing an integer value so we call it 100 is an integer literal similarly 100.25 here is a 
float literal don't get confused with this term float it is not same as the float data type it is just a naming convention we use for this type of value whenever we have a number with a decimal point we call it float literal whether it is stored in a float type of variable or it is stored in double type of, of variable doesn't matter here x is a character literal because it's a single character and you also know that every character uh, value or literal must be written inside single quotes okay just like what I have done here and lastly this is a string so what type of literal should I call it string literal so this is for literals okay so I hope the meaning is clear to you literals are nothing but values can be stored in an identifier okay so moving ahead next token punctuators it's a very very simple thing to understand so what punctuators is see often we need to separate uh, things in Java okay like uh, you know this semicolon sign okay it 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 indicates the end of the Java statement so just like semicolon we have some other symbols also and uh, collectively we call them punctuators so what are they uh, we have rounded brackets square brackets curly brackets comma dot colon it's not semicolon it's colon and lastly semicolon so these are these symbols that we uh, call as punctuators and these are used to separate things in Java so let me write this here okay so this is what it means punctuators okay so I hope you have understood the meaning of uh, these three tokens uh, quite easily. We have already discussed identifiers in uh, detail. So by far we have completed four tokens out of five. Okay. The fifth token uh, which is operators is very very important guys. So do pay attention while you are uh, uh, watching that video. So that's it for this video. Do like and subscribe if you have liked the content. Thank you so much.